Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the detergent dispenser in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a torque 20 screwdriver, small flat blade screwdriver, even smaller flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new detergent dispenser. The detergent dispenser is installed on the dishwasher's inner door. It operates by the main control board and dispenses the detergent and the reagent on command. The main reason why the detergent dispenser would need to be replaced is if it's broken and the dispenser door won't open automatically or won't get closed. We're going to open the door and uh, using a torque 20 screwdriver, I'm going to remove this one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And I'm going to pull out the control panel. And lay it down. Now I'm going to remove this plug. I'm going to lift up on this locking tab carefully with a flat blade screwdriver and uh, pull this plug off. And going to this side, and we're going to start with taking out the harness from the retainer. And uh, this one. Pull it apart with a flat blade screwdriver and take out the harness. Then I'm going to press down this locking tab again using the same small flat blade screwdriver and remove this power plug. And the last thing to disconnect this uh, control panel, I'm going to press this tab on the side of the plug and I'm going to push it out. And the same thing on this side. And we're going to remove the plug. All right, so we're going to open the door now and I'm going to take out the six screws that holds the outer door. They are at torque 20 and I'm using that uh, same torque 20 screwdriver. And we're going to leave this screw in there and go on opposite side and uh, take out this uh, three screws. I'm going to support the outer door, take out this middle screw. I'm going to lift up a little bit door. So I'm going to put my knee underneath and uh, I'm going to take this screw out. And now we can remove the outer door panel. This uh, two spacers came off, as you can see, we're going to put them back on uh, before we're going to install the door back. Next, we're going to remove this uh, harness bracket that's uh, held in place by a couple of clips. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to press down this clip here and pull it out. So then uh, I'm going to just grab it on the top and push it back. So we're going to release this couple of clips here. Now I'm going to disconnect this plug on the right, a triple red wire. Pull it off. Next I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to press down that uh, tab at the bottom here and I'm going to move out the plug. Now we need to remove this uh, old dispenser. I'm going to slightly open the door and I'm going to slide this flat blade screwdriver here on the top to open the tabs here as far as it can go. Using another flat blade screwdriver, I'm going to help to open the last one. Press it in a little bit. It closed again. 
gonna bend it open push it in and I'm gonna open this side and press it in more so it will go in I'm gonna open this tab and press it more in and I'm gonna slide out the screwdriver from the top and I'm gonna use it at the bottom slide it in and I'm gonna open the third one with the second screwdriver and press it in all right this is the old detergent dispenser next to the new one if you don't have this part you can get it from appliancepartspros.com now I'm going to use the uh, pair of pliers and I'm going to bend back those uh, locking tabs that we bent open And we're going to place the uh, detergent dispenser into the cutout. Make sure it goes in this way. Then we're going to align it and press it in. All those clicks means a good thing that it's getting locked in. Now let's inspect. Make sure that all clips are locked. So we're gonna plug this plug on the left with a double yellow harness. Then I'm gonna go plug in this triple red harness plug on the right. And we're gonna install this bracket with harness on the top of the dispenser. I'm going to slide this two tabs into these openings. Lock in, and then I'm going to slide this in on the right. Let's place the spacers on. Slide it in and press it in. And I go to the right side, do the same thing. So now I'm going to install the opposite side spacer. And it's ready to put the outer door on. So we need to place the outer door panel over these two spacers. Hold on to that uh, outer door panel and open the door so we can install it. We need to match the holes. After the holes are aligned, I'm going to put one screw here in the middle. Those are shorter screws and I'm going to use the uh, torque 20 screwdriver and I'm going to tighten it and I'm going to switch the sides again align the holes and put uh, one screw in the middle that's uh, torque 20 those six screws that hold the outer door panel they are a little shorter than the ones that hold the control panel okay now we can install the rest of the screws All right, now I'm going to install the control panel. Now I need to fish out the harness and the plugs from uh, behind that outer door panel. And now uh, this side. And next we are going to install the control panel. All right, we're going to start plugging in everything what's uh, loose here. We're going to plug this power plug to this uh, user interface control board. Make sure it's locked. Then we're going to
place this harness into the uh, retainer. Now this plug is going to be installed into the cutout. I'm going to press it in and the two tabs on the sides locks. Install this harness into the channel. Turn it around and where this harness goes into the retainer. A little trick in. And uh, this one is going to be installed in the same place. I'm going to switch the sides and uh, I'm going to plug in this brown power plug. Make sure it's locked. Now we're going to install the control panel back on. Uh, there's a uh, six tabs at the bottom of the control panel and there's a six slots on the outer door panel. They will have to interlock. So we're going to put it down. And let's check. Check at the bottom. Yep, it's good. And now we can secure it with the uh, six screws on the top. Now we can install these uh, six screws on the top to secure the control panel. A torque 20, and we're using a torque 20 screwdriver. And close the door. Plug the dishwasher in and enjoy your clean dishes. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, Please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.